Well, I think we're going to run out of hay. No, I know we're going to run out of hay. What do we do when we run out of hay here at Heritage Jokes Farm? Stick with us. I'll show you. Welcome to Heritage Jokes Farm again, and uh, wanted to uh, say that you know we're looking at our hay supply here in February and realized that we're going to run out of hay, and uh, we don't really have the pasture, and we're going to wean some cows, some uh, calves off, which means we're going to need some uh, hay, and uh, well, here. You know we like to feed them the same diet that's why we bale our own hay but we're gonna run out of hay and so we run out of hay we happen to have a guy that sold us our seed and uh, he also makes hay so we run out of hay I run over and I get the same hay from the guy that sold me my seed because you know we do want to stay on the same diet the same plan and when uh, we first got cows we uh, bought hay locally just like anybody else would just call up whoever's on Craigslist and got our hay right because who's got the best price on hay that's what we went with and uh, well we ended up needing hay again and we ran into AJ now we're going to talk to AJ, so stick uh, on to another video about seed and why we bought what we bought, and uh, we'll have that one going. But the um, point was, we uh, bought hay off of Craigslist the first time, and then we ended up getting some locally from this guy because I just had to have it. And uh, he had these big square bales, and of course we don't have any way to really unload it um, properly. But we'll get it unloaded. Uh, we used to get it in a truck and then back truck in and then hand feed it off. And I'm going to try something different this time. But when we got hay from this guy, we realized that uh, in the middle of the winter time, our cows started putting on weight. And I was like, well, why? That, that's a lot different than what we've been getting. And uh, so I did check into it, talk to the guy, found out he was a seed sale uh, rep and he told me about the seed so we're gonna have a video with him about why we bought the seeds we bought and all that and uh so here's my suggestion if you're gonna run a grass-fed operation find somebody who's doing the same management program you are and work with them when you need hay so that you can keep feeding the same diet all the time and uh so that's what we do we realize we're running out of hay. Call AJ up, said, hey, you got any hay available? And he says, yeah, I got some. Uh, I'll be at the barn in an hour. All right, so I'll stop what I'm doing and uh, I'll go get some hay from you because I'm, I'm at his convenience. And uh, so that's what I did. I changed my plans for today and took an hour and a half now out of my day to go get hay and then I got to get it unloaded but it's well worth it to make sure that I keep the cows on the same diet all year round. So, I mean, you look at this guy's hay, it's stored inside, of course, in a big barn, and it's in these big bales that weigh about, oh, I believe they weigh about 1,500 pounds. I mean, it's like 21 bales of hay. So, um, it's a lot of hay. But when I look at that hay, and then I go look at my own hay, 
it don't look much different. And it's because it is the same seed mix other than he does in fact put more cover crop in his fields than we do but it's because he takes and rotates his uh fields around he does corn soy and he does uh hay but every once in a while he rotates out a corn in a soy field and uh puts hay in it um kid knows a lot more about seeds than we do all i know is when i use his hay and the hay that we put in our fields even in the winter time our guys and girls don't lose any weight and that's important to us as a as a uh, uh beef operation is i don't want my cattle losing weight just because i don't have enough pasture for them so uh yeah it's a little awkward to have a package that you can't necessarily unload right but there are different ways that you can unload this and i'm gonna try to take this little uh, tractor here and uh, basically pull it off and drag it and get it in there uh, i'm going to try to pull it off the trailer onto a tarp so i can pull the tarp with this little tractor and then hopefully i can get it up on the uh, skids and uh, i mean i do have that old jubilee over there but unfortunately the uh, vein pump went out in it and I'm not able to find one at this point but I'm trying to find one or I'm gonna to have to convert it over uh, but even that tractor wouldn't pick up these bales so I, I definitely don't have the equipment to do it but we will get an alternative way to get it off there um, if I can't drag it then I know I can flip it and the nice thing about these big bales is that it's got one two three four five six ba bands on it that hold it together and you can get a strap underneath of these and they're tight i mean it's tight but we'll get a band underneath there and pull it or flip it off this trailer but i'll get it off of here or i'll cut the bands on it and i'll feed the leaves into the uh uh into a pile just like we did last year so that was what i want to let you guys know is that there are if you're gonna be a grass operation and you really want to be consistent with your diet find somebody who's doing what you're doing and buy your hay from that person so that's my advice hope that helps somebody and uh, you guys have a great day and I'm gonna get busy get this stuff off this trailer